Welcome to New Gameplay Today. I'm not Jeff Cork. I'm Kyle Hilliard. Brian Shea's here. Hey, everyone. And Leo Vader's off doing important stuff in the booth. That's where you live, I assume. I don't know much about you outside of the office. Yeah, uh, pretty much. What are we looking at here? This is Super Daryl Deluxe. Correct. It is a... Uh, RPG that kind of plays like a Metroid-inspired game, uh, but it's like a side-scrolling take on a traditional RPG, which is it's an interesting combination. Okay, and do you, are you building a map? You said Metroid, which uh, piqued my interest. Well, we can look at over here. Yeah, I okay. am building a bit of a map. Cool. This is just one dungeon that I'm in right now. All right, I'm in. So, I like this uh, game. the way that it works is you're a high school kid named Daryl. Um, and it's like a post-apocalypse kind of thing. Like something has happened in the world that everybody keeps referencing this world wake-up day. Okay. Uh, this you has have already no happened. It has already happened. You have no idea what it means. Uh, there's like clues scattered throughout. And uh, yeah, you're just trying to figure out what it is. But you go through like the classrooms and like do quests for people. Um, and it, it ranges from like, all right, we need you to break into the janitor's closet and get this stuff to we need you to go into this dungeon and find this thing and each classroom is a dungeon I'm trying to jump on that and obviously I can't um, each classroom in the high school is a dungeon but it, the dungeon is themed after the uh, the subject that okay. is taught in that class so right now I'm in the history department mm. so that's why I'm exploring like ancient Egypt pyramid yeah it's like Assassin's Creed Origins yeah exactly. like discovery tour mode. This, this is what it is actually the discovery tour so you're doing you're pressing buttons and a lot of things are happening like uh, you were telling me earlier about the you have uh, a lot of options when it comes to building out your combat yeah so right now I have right? kind of a melee style uh, build so that's my bumper like so you, you can see in my lower left corner I have the abilities and I've leveled these abilities up over the course of my playthrough mm -hmm. I also have the <laughs> thanks the best dash which is like this drill um, but yeah are you like a superhero, or are you just a dude? I'm just a dude. Change barrel guard, okay. So yeah, I just completed a quest, which was killing 40 of those Anubis guards that you saw me uh, fighting. Okay. So I'm going to leave this just to... Was that a main quest, or like a side quest? That was a side quest. So you, okay. you, if you look in the upper right corner, you can see that I'm tracking seven, or I guess six now that I've turned in one of those, six quests, and I can just use the right stick to see my progress on all those, which I really That's like. Nice. Uh, yeah. It's super convenient. So like, oh, I need... 15 more bats to turn in that one and then that's the red quest in the upper right is the main quest um so i'm gonna leave this just so you can see like some of the the other uh dungeons in this game thank you yeah i've gotten my fill of egypt yeah well I, i've I been in egypt it. for a very long time now um I'm, yeah it's a pretty substantial game you said, it right? is it's taking me a really long time to get through um even talking with the uh you can see the art style it definitely Weird. Yeah, it's very surreal. It kind of, it, it almost, it, how does it play? Does it feel good? Does it play well? Yeah, it's it, responsive. And I, I, going back to the combat system, like you can go in here and uh, this is what I have equipped right now. And it tells you actually tier trash, even though I've leveled it up all the way, it's still <laughs> a garbage tier. And the best you can have is good. Um, but if you go to your collection, these are all ones I've unlocked. So there's like a banana boomerang. Wow. Uh, and so it's more like a ranged attack. Mm -hmm. um, this one is like a stun that you can do, and it does some damage as well. There's a ton of attacks. Yeah, you can unlock a lot of stuff. So you can really build your character however you want to build him, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. So if you want to be like more of a ranged, uh, like Sniper. more Metroid than Castlevania, then that would be kind of the way you want to approach it. That's some, acceptable. Yeah, that, that is a way you can approach this. And you can also map them to any face button or shoulder button that you want. Uh, and you save by going to the bathroom, obviously. Trench coat wholesale club? Yeah, so there's these guys called the trench coats that you can buy stuff from. And, uh, Is this how you're getting your upgrades and things? Well, these are like different gear. So uh, if you want to increase your attack, you can buy a, a higher level thing. So level my 17 right now. So I have to have something that's 17 or lower mm -hmm. uh, for the level. If I can ask the only important question to ask in the new gameplay today, okay. does the do the clothes change the way you look when you buy them? No, or and or I'm just... that's actually one of my biggest disappointments, but it does change the way it looks on this screen right here, which I guess I think it's like supposed to be the way that he sees himself. Okay, sure. Um so we can uh, I, this is kind of a cool one actually. So this gives you a 300% increase to your health. Okay. But it's an eye patch, so you can see I changed my 
thing to their eye patch, and then it come back, and you only get to see half the screen now. So there's little yeah, that's pretty good. cool things yeah. like that. That's uh, funny. I remember I actually did that, and I didn't realize. I was just like, oh, that's a really good perk. I'm going to do that. And I didn't realize what was happening, and I was like, oh, my God, did I like just break the game? I thought the game was glitching out, but then I was like, oh, eye patch. That's actually kind of cool. That's funny. I really like that a lot. I, it, I like that it also does have some value if you're like in some screen filling boss you know or something where you're just slashing as much as possible i guess you could equip it you know yeah so right now like we're in china so are we going, this is still the history department? this is still the history department so you can kind yeah. of get a sense of how big these areas are i'm just going to try to dash oh we can okay. go to the skill shop so you so, go to your locker for the skill shop so you can go to your locker in the actual like halls of the class of the school yeah or you can go and like into the area and there's like flying lockers which just it doesn't make any sense, but why not? That's the apocalypse, man. Anything yeah, exactly. Anything goes in the apocalypse. When lockers fly. So this is funny because they, I, when I saw this game at GDC, uh, Dan and Gary, the, the developers, mm-hmm. uh, said, "Oh, well, there's self destruct," and I, they're like, it, "It just kills you." And I was like, "Oh, well, is there any reason you'd want to do that?" Because when you die, it's just it goes but to the last time you saved. It's all manual saves. Okay. So I was like, "Oh, well, why would you ever use that if you just..." go back to that last save. It's like, oh, you don't want to use it. That's why it says don't ever use this. Even though it's the most expensive skill that you can buy in the game and it says trash tier. I don't know why. <laughs> That's true. I, I don't know. I like I like that kind of stuff. It's like, just put it in there for the sake of a joke. Why not? Yeah, so we can customize our guy if you want. So now R1 is the banana boomerang. The banana ring? Banana ring. And there we go. Oh, and I just unequipped it. Okay. Now we're just going crazy yeah come on show us this, uh, this boomerang did you unequip i unequipped something? it what are you doing man oh this is a God. nightmare <laughs> oh you have to do it yeah, you have to locker. do it in the locker okay there you go well nope, no, leave me. it there come on there we go okay so go. i didn't set it that's what the problem was uh, okay so now square is that stun oh, that's cool looking and i don't have the boomerang i messed that up too <laughs> oh great now you gotta kill this poor locker the again. poor locker he, he's immortal so there we go. And this is, I haven't upgraded this banana boomerang, so it's kind of crappy, but yeah, you can see I got a banana boomerang now. Wow. But if I were to go left and keep going, like it becomes like kind of like a fantasy area, and there's like Lord of the Rings references. And, is that still history? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. And uh, there's like a, a mansion that's Ebenezer Scrooge's mansion, and it's like a whole Christmas-themed area, which is kind of weird. And then you go a little bit further, and it gets even weirder with like mermaids and... Poseidon. Uh, well, what are some of the examples that like aren't history? Like, so let's that... go right now. All right, let's do it. It's funny you should ask that, Kyle. So let's go way over here. We're all... so we're at intro, intro to history. history. So that that's like the lobby of the history area. Yeah. So I appreciate this this showing off of the history section, but could you fast travel if you wanted to? Uh, no. <gasps> There's no fast. But travel, it's huh? it's fairly easy to get from place to place. Dare I say, fairly easy. Okay. Yeah, we're trusting you on this. Okay, so this is just the school of the class or the like school. school. Hall of the school is the the word I was trying to say. Uh, so we're going to science now. This is actually the first area you go to. All right, this is already weird. Yeah, so <laughs> kind of sci-fi. It says yeah. <laughs> photosynthesis. <laughs> you so, know, science. <laughs> yeah, we're learning a lot right now. So yeah, it's it's this is a really simple area, um, and so you are doing like platforming and stuff like that. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, there's not very many platforming challenges. There's a fish in a ice. ice. Are there platforming moves you can have? Um, there's just the dash, and like if you hold run, you're uh, you jump kind of like lower, but at a like a further trajectory. <laughs> Well, I appreciate how uh, distinct this is from the history set. Yeah, like they change it up pretty good. Cool. There's a dinosaur in the background with like that weird Ren and Stimpy look. Yeah. So Shay, wh- uh, when is this? When is this out? What is it coming out for? It is out on PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Not Xbox One though. Huh? Not Xbox One. I asked them that, and they were like, "Yeah, it's coming out for everything but Xbox." Cool. I was like, "Oh." Any reason? They're like, no. No. Okay. I'm like, okay. It's, it's not powerful enough. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. So, yeah, like, all the enemies are themed after the areas. Um, 
you saw I just fought some beakers yeah. as opposed to like last time. Uh, this The first mission you get is to find a textbook. So textbooks are how you get the new skills. So you can trade in the textbooks for uh, for skills. So like you saw the, the self-destruct one, which is the most expensive skill, has yeah. a, uh, a cost of seven textbooks. Cool. Can uh, you spend some textbooks before our very eyes? Oh, sure. Let's see. Hopefully I have some. You're going to put them on the spot, eh? Leo? Man. That's right. Let's put Shay to the test. So we can actually... Uh, actually, I'll, I'll do that at the locker. I think I have to. Wait. All right. Cool science. Yeah, really cool science, right? I, I learned something. Uh, Me too. Let's just get out of there. It's like in Fallout 4 when you're going through the memories or whatever. In the simulation? Yeah. Uh, so let's go to my locker. Are we concerned at all that there's a bear? No. Okay. We just talk to him and here, we, we can go talk to him if you'd like. See if he's doing okay. But everyone else is a human. And that's... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. I like his shirt. <laughs> right, buy, spend some textbooks or buy textbooks? So let's see. How many textbooks do I have right now? I've been kind of hoarding some textbooks. I have 16 I textbooks. That. Uh... I say let's do some good ones. Because now that I'm high enough level, so you see I'm level 17, you needed 16 to get the good tier. Okay. Moves. Uh, maybe a spiked baseball bat? Love it. That sound good? Adore it. Adore it. Gotta have it. So you have two categories. You have the, uh, like, these are like the attack uh, category, and then over here are like the dashes. I've bought all the dashes but one. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to buy sliding by just because I already have the best dash, so why would I... Why would I get something less? You wouldn't be so foolish. You can also trade in textbooks for upgrade points to upgrade the moves. Gotcha. So we just got this one. Uh, it's a level one or rank one right now. So we can, you can see in the left side, it says convert textbooks to skill experience. So if I trade one textbook in, I'll get 3,600 skill experience, which right now I have 18,000. So I have plenty to upgrade this. So if I rank it up, keep ranking it up. Now it's a one star move, rank three of seven. So instead of doing 80% damage, it does 100% damage. Okay. And so you're leveling up yourself, which is doing your base damage, but you can also level up your weapons. Essentially yep, all your up. skills. Uh, so there's like all kinds of different leveling mechanics in this. You can also add different gear. Like you can see right now, I have like the, the incredible Hulk fists as my weapon, but if that's a two handed weapon. So if I wanted to do different weapons, and these just change your stats, right? Yeah, so like this one gives me 150 strength. They're not really Incredible Hulk, they're Cactus Fists, I guess. So that's the best that I have, but it, so there's some give and take. So this one, I have a shield, so it gives me 15 health, 28 defense, and 3 strength. Or I could do the Cactus Fists for 150 strength, but no boost to health and defense. Gotcha. That's also a two-handed weapon, whereas like single-handed weapons, I can, if I can find some... There you go. So now I can equip two things, mm -hmm. which give me uh, multiple boosts there. Gotcha. That's cool. So yeah, I like the, the cactus fists. Sweet. Is there, so is there, uh, what do you think, Jay? Is there anything else? I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I, I have no idea where I am in the, the story right now, but it's it's going on for a while. Like I, <laughs> So let's get a new quest, actually, here. So... Glassy. That's what you want to hear in the tone that you want to hear it. <laughs> so uh, this guy really likes eating glass for whatever reason. So cool. He thought being popular would mean he's being swarmed with women, but maybe he needs something more specific. So now he needs some nice deer antlers. So I need to find him some deer antlers. So that's a quest I'll have. Um, go to Paranormal Club. This actually was full of people last time I was in here, and now it's completely empty, which is kind of weird. Spooky. I think they went to uh, Ebenezer Scrooge's mansion. Sorry for the spoiler alert there, uh, but well, if you've seen a Christmas Carol, yeah, you know. he's <laughs> has yeah, ghosts. ghosts. Sorry. Uh, so, cool. um, well, thanks for showing us this game, Shay. You did a great job, and I'm very proud of you. Shay, thanks. I would also like to extend my congratulations. Hey, for how thanks, you've guys. I mean, I just play the games. You know, you guys decide. That's right. Uh, okay, but, so the game is out now. Uh, the review probably not on the site quite yet, but soon. One of these days. One of these days. Cool. Uh, yeah, we can go to music and art. You can see, uh, like, going here is like Napole or Napoleon's in the history department. Oh, but it's like, it's like Rayman. Beethoven, uh, Andy heard Warhol's in here. Heard of them. Yeah, you've heard of these guys. You favorites. know who these guys are. Look, there's Georgia O'Keefe. Yep, yep. Cool. All right. Well, that was new gameplay today. 
Thanks so much, Shay. And uh, keep an eye out for the review for yeah. Super Daryl Deluxe. Catch you on the flip side. Goodbye.